Welcome back everyone. We're off to meet a lad called Ben. And he's got a Granada and he's put a BMW 3 litre diesel engine in. I love everything about Granadas. I love the boxiness of them. I love everything about them. We'll be there in like, well, I'll be there in five minutes. You'll get to see the car in like a couple of seconds. So enjoy. Where'd you get the shell from? Like the original car? Scrapyard. Scrapyard? What yeah. was in it when you got? Did it have an engine in? Yeah, two litre Pinto, it didn't run. Did it not? No. So the car wasn't running when you got? No. Was it white? It was white, yeah. Is it a diesel? Yeah. I, I've never asked you, have I? I'd never asked you what was in. I was like, I just looked for, I wanted to see it. I'll give it a quick wipe over if you want. This everything's fucking disgusting. Look, at that's how long it's been sat. So what engine is it? Is it a three litre? Yeah, well, nah. Is that, do you remember the E39 BMs? E39, uh huh. Yeah, I think I put, I think it was a T reg I pulled all this lot out of. Was it classed as a 330? It's 530. 530. Because yeah. they're highly tunable, these engines, aren't they? People put, get the massive bit, power out of them. Yeah, the later ones are a bit better than these. Again, at the time, it was, right, what can I stick in it? That I wanted something that I could use every day uh -huh. if I wanted to. And my mate went, he went, put a, put a diesel in it, put a BM diesel in it. Because another lad that I know had just done a Mark II Cortina we wanted. Uh huh. But he's just changed his now for a, uh, out of a 535, you know, twin turbo one. Uh huh. So I've got competition now, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so is it tuned at all or is it totally standard? I, I had a lad round because I was having trouble with it at first and I wanted the immobiliser taken out and I wanted a well, immobiliser taken out and I wanted something else doing to it. And he went, oh, it's already got a stage one map on it. I was like, I don't think it has, but I just took his word for it anyway. I need, that's next job really, it needs a six speed box, it's only on a five speed box. Uh -huh. And uh, What gearbox box you got on? BM. The it's one that came with the engine? Yeah, yeah, it's BM engine box, prop, and then I've shoe on the diff and everything into the Granada Corrado right. at the back. I love it like, I really do, it is mint. <laughs> what wheels are they? Rotors. Who makes them? Rotor. You know what, oh, that's the brand stuff, yeah. I mean, they don't look it on this, but they're nine and a half wide all around. Are they? Yeah. Where are the 17s? 18s they are. 18s. Yeah. Well, like I said, everyone looks at them and goes, oh, they're not that big, them wheels, but you get them off the car and they are. Aye. They suit the perfect size, I think, for the car. Yeah. Well, I had a lad message me on Instagram yesterday. What wheels have you got on your car? How big are they? What specs are they? I'm after some for mine. and <laughs> I get it all the time. I get that a lot for my car. What suspension, what offset, what size and everything. <laughs> yeah. Because they like the way mine sits. Originally, it was going to be my daily car. Was it? Yeah, that's the only reason I built it. And then you know when you build something and you think, uh, it might be a bit too nice. Aye. But then again, it just sits outside anyway. I'll use it again now, I've taxed it. How much is the tax? Oh, I don't know, I just banged it on direct debit this morning. Did you? <laughs> yeah. It's important on a car, man, how a car sits on wheels, isn't it? That's it, yeah. You literally make or break it. Well, this were on gas shocks and springs at first. Was it? Yeah, and then I drove it a few times and I fucking hated it. Did you? I didn't use it, I hated it with a passion, yeah. Too hard? It was just horrible to drive. It kept was it? catching up wings, everything. And then uh, my mate had a Mark V Golf and he crashed, um, a motorbike crashed into the front of it. So I ended up buying full car off him, stripped that, and then used all his air ride and stuff. On this? So, well, I sold up, I had to, oh no, this were a nightmare there, so I won't do another one. Because they're not like, they're a double wishbone up front. These? Yeah. Are they? Like, yeah. So it was just horrendous to do. Honestly, horrendous. What brand of air, air right suspension you got on? They're called Universal Aero Bags, they are. Universal it, Aero Bags? Yeah, it was the only thing I could find. But um, I needed a bag that was like self-contained. Uh -huh. And it had like a thing running through the middle because the damper runs through the middle of the fucking bag in these. Because they used to run through the spring. But I tried everything to try and make it so it wouldn't do it. You know, so I could put the shock somewhere else, but there was just no room at all. Was there not? No. So oh, has it got all the tank and that in the boot? Yeah, it's got everything in the boot, yeah. Have a look. Which can, yeah. It's got, what, a double compressor? Yeah. Sorry, so don't to move some stuff. It's up to you, mate, it's up to you. I don't want to be a fucking shit tip for you. So I just threw all this in before, because I thought, all right. just my luck, it'll rain again. So how much is the conversion? Well, it cost me nothing in that. Did it? If anything, yeah, well, I give, I give eight and a half hundred quid for golf, and I sold loads of stuff off it. I think I ended up with about two grand back out of it. 
So with that, I bought up bags, like the different bags that I needed, and kept all the management, tank, compressors, lines, everything. A bit of a cheapskate, me, you see. Not wrong with that. <laughs> I think we're there. Are you happy with that? Ah, Put it a looks bit of tire mint. shine on it if you want some tire shine. No, <laughs> looks mint. Where did you get the shell from? Like the original car? Scrapyard. Scrapyard? What yeah. was in it when you got it? Did it have an engine in? Yeah, two litre Pinto, it didn't run. Did it not? No. So the car wasn't running when you got it? No. Was it white? It was white, yeah. Five speed gearbox? Yeah, luckily it's the same pattern as BM as well. So, what, so the reverse is on the top? Yeah, yeah. Is it? What's that for? Is that for your air ride? That's for air ride, yeah. Can we do it? Can we see it work? Of course, yeah. Press the middle button. The middle button, this yeah, one? That's one, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> so all that's preset. You can obviously you can change all the settings and stuff, but that's just set to the eye that I want it now. Oh, so you can go higher. Is that yeah, the height there? Press, um, the, obviously, there's two sets of buttons on the left and on the right. Uh huh. If you press the top buttons, them. Yeah. That adjusts the height. Yeah, yeah. I do one. Yeah, go on then. Keep going. So that's doing front. Just press the other one. It'll do the other front. That one. Yeah. So that's compressors kicking back in now. And if you do the if you do the other side, the tops on the other side, they'll do the backs. <laughs> how high is it now? No, it's quite high now. Is that how you drive it down the motorway and that if you go for a drive? Yeah, no, just press that setting and that's the setting I've set it at. Do you just leave it there? You never yeah. go that height? Not, not unless you're going over something ridiculous. Aye. But you don't need to, all exhaust tucked up and stuff, so. That height I've got it set at, it's normally just, you press the button, off you go. So is that down? If you press, if you want it to go all, down, all go down together, the left button on the, of the throat. Right. Yeah, keep pressing that. That's it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll do now then, I'll get it up and then I'll let the tank go off and then you can right, it's right. gone off. So like I said, that's its preset settings now. That way you just drive around on it yeah, every day? Yeah, you just press that button and then that's it. Is you that slightly higher at the back there, is it? No, because because it works on pressures, because obviously there's more weight in front. Right. So you've got like, that's the front, so you've got like 100 psi in them bags. Because the of the engine? Yeah, so there's just like 60 odd in back. Right, that makes sense then. Yeah. I say I thought it was like the height setting. No, no, it's, no. Just, it's just literally pressures, that's all it works on. So what power do you reckon it is then? I think the 184 standard. Are there? Yeah, it's, it's high torque as well though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's got loads of torque, yeah. I'd say it's got more, more torque than horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> Go for a run, it won't take long to knock off. No. So did you buy a donor car for the engine or did you just... Yeah, I bought a full, full, full car, car, yeah. So I took engine box, diff, prop, and I stripped full wiring loom out of it and then put it all up floor, worked back from ECU, mm -hmm. so I knew what, what wiring to pull out. But there's another, there's an easier way of doing it now. There's a guy that does the, um, like an adapter for him. Right. You send him, his, send him your ECU off. So I've still got the BM key in the middle. You know it transponder. What's that for? Immobiliser. Is it? Yeah. So if you don't have that in the car, it'll just... It won't start. No. Really? Yeah, just take... It won't even turn over. Really? No. no. Have you done many mines in it since you built it? Done... Probably not. I bet I've done less than 2,000. Aye? Yeah. Just just shows, really, more than anything. I say, really, I built, I built it to use every day, but... Never bothered? No. Is it just two nights when you finish with it, like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, when you build, you build something and you just think, right, I'll just, I'll use it every day. I won't, won't put that much effort in. Aye. Uh, and then it evolves, doesn't it? And then it just ends up not being like that. I was the same, I'd done the underside of my Sierra. I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just get rid of the bubble rust just so it doesn't get worse. That's the only reason I've done it. Before I knew it, I was sending stuff for, for powder coat and getting <laughs> yeah. things plated, <laughs> all the new nuts and bolts. I was like, oh, this has took a air. This is going to be further than I wanted it to do. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's just a compressor in the boot. 
They'll cut off soon, wouldn't they? They'll knock off in a minute, yeah. Aye. So is this where you live? Just found here? No, I live a bit further up here. Yeah. yeah. These are all the childhood roads, these. Were they? Yeah. Like 17, 18. Blasting along your northers and that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have many crashes when you were younger? No. Did you not? I didn't know. It's quite a good boy, really. I had a sack, so I bashed it. I was to bash it every month. <laughs> Honestly. So what chores do you do with it? Um, you got like favourite ones? Did, it got it, it was in Classic 4 magazine, like, the last year or year before. Was it? Yeah, so they asked me to go Santa Pod and then... They asked you to go to Santa Pod, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. But put on their stand or something? Yeah. So it's all just... And then it's all like the Stancy shows, you've got to show all them Volkswagen boys yeah. how it's done, yeah. Does it get much attention when you go there? Yeah, yeah, because obviously it's, it's something different. Aye, it's a cool car. You can't deny a cool car, like. It rides nice, mind, doesn't it? Yeah. That's Smooth. What, that's, that's exactly why I did it. it was what, just, the air? The yeah, air ride? It was, just, it was horrible before. Who do you see made the air ride? What brand is it? It's an early, early system. Early air lift? Yeah. Did your last drive, oh, drive this? Me what? Did your last drive this? Does your girlfriend? No, just, no. No. Does she like it? I don't know. She no, never seems to like it. anything I get, really. <laughs> Unless it's new and modern. Aye. Uh, I think that's a girl thing, isn't it? The band's like it. You've got two kids, haven't you? Yeah. Do they like it? Oh, they love it, yeah. They've already, like, hand-picked which one they want. The little lad wants this when he's older, and the other lad wants Fiesta, so... <laughs> <laughs> How many cars you got? Oh, quite a few. Have you? Yeah. I keep finding them when they come up for sale, that's aye. the thing. Aye, kind of turn them down. So what made you go for this engine then? And not like a, I don't know, something... A petrol. Aye, to, or...? One to annoy all the purists. <laughs> <laughs> and just something you could just jump in, drive. I could I go anywhere I want. It'll aye. do 40 to gallon. It's got loads of torque. Aye. Sounds quite nice. It does. It does sound nice. Is it a straight six? Yeah, straight six, Aye. yeah. So what's your plans for it? Or just um, keep it as it is? You were saying you might change a, I'm the ch bumpers. Yeah, I've, I've managed to find a, a kit from the late 80s called a skeet kit. Um, so Have you got it? I've got it, yeah. That one's painting. Car wants painting again, really. Six-speed box, probably a new set of wheels, just to make everything look a little bit different now, because every, everybody's seen it for the past few years now. So. Aye. Just needs a bit of a change, really. I don't know if I would change it, mate. Like, I might change the wheels, <laughs> but that's easy swapped about, isn't it? Yeah. I like the idea of some split rims on it. Yeah. I do. Uh, I, I do fancy some new wheels, but it's just it's, it's either building a set or just waiting for the right set to come up, really, and use it. I think. Aye. I think, I think I better get round to using it a bit more. Aye. No aircon. No aircon, no. Yeah. <laughs> not not that privileged. <laughs> It's got electric windows in front, quite lucky with that. Aye. <laughs> did you get the wheels new or did you? No, the wheels came off, a, they were off a caddy van originally. Were they? VW? Yeah. Did the offsets just work? Everything, yeah, there's no spaces on them, nothing. Just straight on? Straight on, yeah. Because luckily these have got the same PCD as a Volkswagen. So the 5 one twelve. so you've got, you've got a massive choice of wheels you can pick from. So. Aye. So is the Granada 5 stud a standard? 5 stud, yeah. It's worth, like I say, most... I think most of the Grenades, well, I think all the Grenades were five stud. Even the Mark 1s, Mark 2s, Mark 3s. And obviously, they stopped them after that and went to the Scorpio. And ah, that's that, right, the Scorpio came after, didn't it? Yeah. That horrible American looking thing. Aye. It does sound nice, mine, doesn't it, for a diesel? For a diesel. I mean, mine is like a big American truck, the sound. <laughs> what exhausts on it? It's just a full three inch stainless. Is it? Yeah, just one box at the back. I say most of it's tucked up out of where. So it doesn't catch? No. I think I've quite possibly picked the worst road ever. I was glad to see it's <laughs> minging, isn't it? <laughs> so you've got you still you've got the gearbox that came with the engine? Yeah, it's back. Going? Um originally I had the Granada diff in, so it had a custom prop from gearbox to the diff. Uh-huh. But we changed all that and ended up putting a BM diff in. And for some stroke of luck, really, the BM prop just went exactly the same length. And just Did went it? Straight in, yeah. straight in. Just had to make a new pickup point in middle for the centre bearing, and that uh -huh. was about it. That's easy done, isn't it? Really? Easy done, yeah. A bit of welding and that. Do you weld? Can you yeah, weld? Yeah. Like I said, we've we've done everything. The only thing I haven't done is paint it. And uh -huh. 
Who did you say, Peter? Was it your cousin? No, it was a, it was a friend. Friend? That did it, yeah. Done a nice job, mind it looks, mate, the paint. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's uh, typical Ford. There's a few bits and pieces coming through now, so. It's a bit you leave it outside, didn't you? Yeah, I know, yeah. I don't treat it well. Do you not? <laughs> no. It's easily fixed, though, isn't it? It's just well, that's it. time and bit time money. Yeah. I said that wasn't the plan at first though, it wasn't it wasn't meant to turn out like that, Aye. it was just. Aye, it meant to daily it. Yeah. Take the chopping and that. Yeah, go shopping. Ferry the kids around. Aye. If you sold this, what would you get? <sighs> you I don't know. Know. A lot of asshole, I think. Aye. <laughs> you, you just... Aye. I thought off, off the obitus. <laughs> yeah, well she wants something modern then, wouldn't she? Aye. And she, have you got a modern car what you use yeah, every day? Yeah. A modern ish, whatever. Yeah, I have a Jag actually, yeah, a big one. Do you? So, yeah. I don't think women really understand. A lot of women don't understand like the old car thing, no, do they? No. I think you either like them or you don't like them. Aye. Uh, like sometimes I'll see, and I see a car like driving on the street and I'll be like, whoa, check that out. Yeah. And Amy's like, what? I know. Yeah, what is it? What is it? Why do you like that? Aye. I always wonder what people think of me, Sierra. I remember once I was out with Sierra, right? And a car full of the young lasses pulled up, they were about 18, 19. And the four of them were in the car sitting, pointing, laughing at us in my car, <laughs> thinking, look at that flipping car he's got, he must have stuck a body kit or something <laughs> on there. It's got a stupid spoiler it's on it. It's the only time I felt crap in that car. I, I was like, feel, oh my You don't God. need to feel crap about it, they obviously don't understand They didn't. They, they, oh, they didn't. But I was like, oh, aye, aye. They were getting some looks. <laughs> oh, no. <one. laughs> Do you know them? Yeah. Oh. Bet it gets loads of attention, mind, does All it? All the time, yeah, you can't. The normal, the usual ones, the petrol station ah, thing. I get that. My me, me dad used to have one of them, or my granddad used to have one of them. Get some talk to someone for like half an hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the other thing. You go, you go up to garage, and people just want to talk to you about it all the time. Just have a business card, put a link to this video. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, it, check yeah. that out, mate. It's a big old fat handbrake handle as well, though, isn't it? See, it's just you were just trying to make everything stay standard and. Aye. I wouldn't have wanted to change interior like that. I would have left it like this. Yeah. Like you see, I think the seats are good, like I like the seats. But that's your the pattern even matches the door card, doesn't it? Well yeah, I bought the full trim I bought came with door cards, so but originally all the Granada Sport stuff's grey, but obviously with this being like a bluey colour inside, right. I had to keep door cards and even stuff like trying to keep period speakers and You kept the period speakers? Yeah, like trying to find shelf speakers that fit oh, in. Oh they die. Did you put them in? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> what were the Goodmans or something? The, the Goodmans, but obviously the speakers were no good back. They're oh, probably 20 year old, aren't they? If not older than that, crap. so. Cheers for that, mate. Yeah, no worries, bud. Do you want to plug your Instagram out like that? Uh, Social media pe now. People can have a look. Do oh, yeah. right. you post your cars now? Up? Yeah, Ben Wild 87. Right. I'll leave his links below. Is it Ben Wild 87? I'll leave your link below anyway. Yeah, yeah. All right. Spot on, mate. Thanks for that. No problem, anytime. Cheers for watching, fellas. I'll see you soon. Watch out for the next one. <laughs> Watch out for the next one. <laughs> That's what I meant.